and welcome to Let's Talk Streaming. There's a lot of streaming news out there today, and we're going to talk about a good chunk of it. To start with, it's a lot of good news for Disney. If you're Disney, you should be quite happy that, first of all, ESPN Plus has reached 13.8 million subscribers. That is a 1.7 million subscriber boost in the second quarter of 2021. I, I personally don't know how. All I've been told about ESPN Plus is that it's not very good, and it's like the clip show version of ESPN. It doesn't have a lot of the games, and maybe it's better. I just don't. I don't see the appeal. But okay, it's not for me. Hulu, on the other hand, Hulu with Live seemed to drop two hundred thousand subscribers. Um, Hulu Live, of course, is the one with the the TV. It's like sixty five dollars, I think, it is a month. Um, but for me, I just have normal Hulu, and that's fine for me. But the big news for Disney, huge news. Disney Plus has gone up from 94 million subscribers last quarter to 103.6 million subscribers. Yep, Disney Plus, 103.6 million subscribers right now. And that is why they can do stuff like Mulan and Raya, Premier, um, uh, what's it called? Disney Premier, where they can do the $30 to get it, which the price point's not that bad. If you are if you have kids, $30 to see a movie, and especially see it more than once, pretty good. Especially since you can pause, kids can go to the bathroom, you don't have to worry about them screaming and interrupting everyone else and running around, yeah. But... To go with that 103 million, they announced that Jungle Cruise, starring Dwayne Johnson, will be coming out this summer on Disney Plus, but it'll also be on Premier Access the same day it's in the theaters. So they're doing what HBO Max is doing, where it's on streaming at the same time it's in theaters. But unlike HBO Max, it's not with the cost of your service. Albeit, one caveat with this thing you need to know: HBO Max, when they do the cheaper service, the theatrical releases will not be included on that. You have to pay the for full 14.99 a month. So maybe that's the difference between. Um, what Disney's doing is you're not paying an extra, well, what would it be, $7 a month um, like you are for HBO Max. So maybe that's why they want to charge you 30 But <clears throat> if you have HBO Max, the Friends reunion special is finally happening. It's going to have uh, lots of guests and so on. It was supposed to happen last year. It was supposed to launch with HBO Max. But because of COVID, you know, things got delayed. But on May 27th, 2021... Rachel Ross, Monica Chandler, Phoebe, and Joey are back together for a reunion special um, on the original soundstage, apparently. It's unscripted, and there's a lot of guest stars. It'll be, uh, yeah, if you're a, a fan of Friends, uh, May, 24th, May 27th, 2021, it'll be exclusively on HBO Max. If you're in Australia, Paramount Plus is coming. It'll be there on August 11th, 2021. Um, Paramount Plus is interesting. It is definitely better than CBS All Access, and I think the rebranding was very good for them. I still, I don't have it. I haven't, I'm not paying for it. Um, I pay for, oh boy, uh, what do we pay for? AMC Plus, Stars, Netflix, Disney, Amazon Prime, and HBO Max. So it's something that's going to happen. But, I am perfectly willing to go check it out again um, and, and review it in the near future. But if you're in Australia, it's coming August 11th, 2021. You can enjoy it there. Roku Originals. Um, Roku Originals is the name that they gave to the Quibi stuff and so on. So those will be debuting in part on streaming day, which is May 20th. So on May 20th, you can watch a lot of programs which were on Quibi. Um, Reno 901, for example, will be there. Uh, Punk, Shape of Pasta, You Ain't Got These. Uh, Most Dangerous Game, Murder, Murder House Flip, um, Dummy, Blackball, Big Rad Wolf, About Face, uh, Hashtag Free Ray Sean. There's a lot of them. Uh, they will be available on the 20th on the Roku channel. If you don't have a Roku channel, they won't, you won't be able to get them. Uh, continuing on with, uh, with the news, Apple TV apparently has more than 40 million subscribers. They won't confirm or deny this, but from trackers who track streaming... Uh, they see Apple TV has reached 40 million, which is good. That is really good, especially since there's not a lot of content in Apple TV. But it is Apple. Uh, next, if you have Curiosity Stream, you're now one of 16 million subscribers as they had a 28% increase um, of subscribers over last year. Of course, uh, Curiosity Stream only costs like $25 a year or $20 a year, so it is, it is fairly cheap. And you can get a bundle of other things as well. But uh, good for them, $16 million. 
And last but not least, the Roku channel. So we know Roku had some issues with um, with YouTube TV, with with Google YouTube TV's not there. And then Google, in response, decided we're going to put YouTube TV as part of the YouTube app. So if you have the YouTube app, YouTube TV is in there. Uh, of course, you have to pay for that part of it, but it's it's included in the app. In Roku, on the other hand, other than adding the Roku originals, they're adding 25 new channels. Here are the channels that they're adding: Zumo Crime TV, Vice, Slug Terra. Uh, Super Simple Songs, Rotten Tomatoes is getting its own official channel. Uh, Real Crime, Rakuten Vicky, uh, Vicky Lawn Crime, uh, Kids Pang, which is, is Here Comes Macro Force Rangers, Rooms Animal Cars, Watch Car uh, Power Racing Battles, Moncart Monsters, and more. Let your imag- imagination go. Johnny Carson TV, Jack Hanna Channel, Impact Wrestling, Heartland, Front Door, which is about inspiration for your home, um, Fuse Beat, Fuse Backstage. Dr. G Medical Examiner, Don't Tell the Bride, Divorce Court, Degrassi, Cinevault 80s, Cinevault 70s, Vine Sports Extra Espanol, America's Test Kitchen, and Adventure TV. Of course, these are all free channels on the Roku channel and uh, for the TV. So that looks about it for the streaming news for now. There is a lot coming, though, and we know this year with movies and theaters, movies on streaming, and so on, there's just a lot more that's going to come. And we'll be here to catch as much of it as possible. I'm your host, Jeremiah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm-hmm.